Okay, so I just want to quickly run through um, this new additional update we've got for Lightroom, which is the um, 0.6 um, iteration of um, Lightroom CC 2015. And um, it's basically to do with tra the transform tool. Um, distortion correction, in other words. Now, if we come down to lens corrections, we used to have four tabs across here, now we only have two. Uh, we have profile, obviously, so what I'm going to do with this um, shot is I'm going to just say remove chromatic aberration and apply the standard um, profile correction, as you can see here, this is shot with the uh, Nikon 1324, um, probably around 24mm um, on a D800E, and uh, who do you... It always this lens always has a problem. It gives some very strange distortions to vertical objects. Um, sometimes they're not quite so noticeable as others. And um, but on this um, lighthouse shot, we can see it's sort of scrunched up a little bit on this side, and it's leaning a little bit. So what we want to do is correct these now. Under the old correction setup that we used to have in previous iterations of Lightroom, actually correcting this distortion was pretty much impossible and uh, I always used to have to end up flipping the image over into uh, Photoshop to uh, do a little bit of warping um, just to make this lighthouse stand up a bit better. But um, as I said we used to have four tabs along here in the lens corrections panel, now we only have two which is profile and manual distortion so we can actually um, try and um, do a distortion correction on it but we don't really need to um, it's not going to get us anywhere that's for certain um, so that's basically that and defringing um, getting rid of chromatic aberration uh, we can control that from there as well however if we come down to transform this is, if you like, the other panel that's missing from the original lens corrections uh, panel above. Um, we had off, we had auto, we had level, vertical and full. Um, did we have full? I can't remember. God, and it was only yesterday when I was using it. My memory's going. Something shocking. Um, but we now have this guided feature. Yeah. Uh, which we can access either by clicking on the guided um, tab there or we can just go and there we go click on the little uh, crop tool and we're away now as you can see um, we have a little loop view um, attached to this cursor and uh, before you do this um, just make sure your tool overlay is set to auto and what this tool allows us to do is to draw our own perspective correction grid lines or guidelines. Now we can only draw four of them, yeah. Um, but let's go and have a go and see what happens. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line across the sea. It is pretty level. But um, the sea, the horizon, I should say. Um, and the other tip is you might find this easier to do if you use a mouse. That's another tip. Right? It can be a bit, um, a bit um, sensitive or overly sensitive if we use a um, a Wacom. But um, anyway, let's get on. Now, what I want to do is. I want to go up to the top of the lighthouse and um, just underneath the cupola or just to the corners corner limits of the cupola and I want to click and drag and go to the other side of the cupola and as you can see that lines tilted and let it do its thing and whoops a daisy so it's already cropped it as you can see over here in the navigator panel um, we'll hold the spacebar key and uh, drag it back over into the middle. And uh, what I'm also going to do is to come under here. 
think. What does this look quite level now? Doesn't look too bad. So what I think I'm going to do is just go up to the uh, top of the uh, weather vane here, because that's obviously right in the center of the lighthouse. And I'm going to click and just evaluate that for vertical. And I'm going to let go and let it do its thing again. And there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and click done on that. And then we'll come out to a, um, well, we won't actually. We'll just go back to a history. And um, we will go back to, where are we? Distortion amount. Come on, there we go. So here we've got our distorted lighthouse. And now, if I click there in my history panel, It'll jump around, obviously, but there we have our undistorted lighthouse. So, if I go back to a fit to screen view, this actually shows us our image and what Lightroom's done to the overall image to actually correct the perspective on the lighthouse. And um, there's two controls here, which are X and Y offset, the X offset can shift the image either left or right within the crop and the Y offset can obviously move it up and down um, not really of any intrinsic value to this shot in particular go on reset reset there we go so we could actually constrain the crop by ticking the box there and you know it, it it's a little bit shifted so perhaps we could use the x offset and shift the image over to the right of it um but mm, not really my bag again so i'll re-zero that and we'll come out back out to a fit to screen view and we'll go unconstrained crop and we'll come back to where we were which is there and then i'll go and select the crop tool make sure the um, padlock <coughs> to conserve the aspect ratio is turned off and i'll come back in and do a manual crop and we'll make sort of a panoramic um, type crop to that and there we go so that's just a, a, a bit of a an introduction to what i think is quite a valuable addition inside the develop module of lightroom the uh, guided upright tool. Okay, so I'll see you again.